All right, hello everybody. Welcome to VR Master League here for our final match of the night. Sorry, brief uh, delay there, trying to settle out server situations. You know how it goes. So we're ready to start here, though, between these two teams. That is to say, Creamy Milk versus Calculated. Calculated, formerly known as Nitro, but coming in here and trying to kick it off with some Nitro and see if they can uh, have, you know, a, a good... A good return here to the stream. Been a while since I've been able to stream uh, well, either of, the, uh, of these teams, really, so it's good to see them both. And, yeah, we're going to get going really soon. But joining me on the cast today, well, I'm Palador, of course, and next to me it's PamWow here. Uh, he's casted a, a few American matches uh, last week, I believe, but for those unfamiliar, he's our kind of go-to OCE caster, but, oh, he's also so much more. Uh, how's it going, PamWow? <laughs> I'm going great and uh, very excited to see this game as you said I am used to a lot of the OCE games so always uh, it's always pleasurable to see an NA game and uh, see the vast differences between the two regions. Yeah absolutely and it you know I've been enjoying those OCE games plenty as I do often say there uh, when we do those streams we'll have some more later on tonight as well for those who are uh, some night owls on the America's side at least but uh, for now well what we do have is a launch. First launch here, neutral, going out, and uh, it will be calculated on their side, that is, but Callan taking that control first. Uh, right back, though, Brennan Cecil, so we just, I believe, saw him uh, subbing uh, for, I think it was Onion or one in, in, in Channel 2 just a while ago, but coming in now, subbing here, calculated, it looks like, and uh, off to maybe the first points off of that pass. Nicely done, White Box finishing. Straight from the beginning there, we saw some great re-grabs coming there from Creamy Milk, and um, I feel like they were able to get back in time and, and actually attack with a great amount of force, but it's just Calculated's ability to just uh, manage their possession and uh, find those passes and lead to those uh, those nice goals inside the bubble for two points. Yeah, really great way to start for them as Milk takes the disc here. It's Leo the Great with it, and we see... By the way, Punitive in the chat, and a Southern Sniper highlighted message says, Hi, Pally and Pam Wow, that's Pal Wow, or... Or Pamador. Either way, that's uh, that's what we're going with. But over here, it's going to be Kellen going for a shot and snagged out of Fontac. Great pin on the on the backboard there from Fontac. Uh, definitely measured the trajectory of that disc. But here comes Colin from inside the bubble. Found a little found a little gap behind there and found the two points inside the bubble, tying the score up two to two. Creamy milk and calculated. Now, trying to go for that calculated backboard shot at first uh, earlier on, but. Nope, got it back here eventually and got the score. It's Leo the Great assisting Callan. Uh, de definitely a great you know, all-around player for sure. Can uh, get the offense done, but sh has been uh, shown as a very, very good defender and goalkeeper as well in his own right. Of course, got Shepard just the same here. And Creamy Milk trying to defend this one, perhaps. Goran Jr., the anchor shot, just going to miss there. Uh, reminding me a little bit of OCE there for a second. Is it going to go for maybe another one? Nope. Uh, going to be taken back here by Creamy Milk, tapping it out to the wedge. That's going to be Colin off the left ball there. Might go for a clear through the midsection. Doesn't have someone to... He's potentially setting up for a re-grab, which is going to be coming in. That's going to be Leo the Great finding that 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 pass. That uh, pass that seemed to stray for a second there. And I was assuming that Calculator were actually going to find that first. But the re-grabs came in and Leo the Great was able to find that disc inside the bubble and found those two points as well. 4-2 to two now. Uh, Creamy Milk leading. All right, so uh, the scores... Neck and neck so far, just a couple minutes in. Uh, really not sure what to expect on this one. I mean, also just throwing in Brennan Cecil, who, again, a shout out to him, known for uh, being on Nave Plus Ultra as well and uh, in, in previous seasons and, you know, coming in as a sub and trying to, ooh, make a nice delivery to White Fox. How about that finish as well? The pass and the shot were both phenomenal. Yep, as you said, the scores are neck and neck, and based on the previous game, 21 to 36, Creamy Milk leading that game. Uh, I was ex I was uh, expecting something along the lines of this. A lot of close scores in the first few rounds, and uh, yes, yeah, very interesting to see who will come out on top here. All right, so Leo the Great with that disc, and it's going to be completely uncontested, at least initially, that stack delaying there in the back line, and you know what? They're going to grab it and take an immediate shot as a result. The result's not what they wanted, though, as it bounces back to uh, Callan's hands and gets a pass over to the tunnel. Yeah, well, that's a, a notable dis a difference that I've uh, d that I've seen between these two teams. You can see how uh, Creamy Milk are always coming in with the aggression with their re-grabs, but it's just calculated here, just as, you, as we can tell by the team they're making calculated decisions, but that wasn't calculated. Leo the Great finding two points inside the bubble, uh, taking the uh, round back into their favor. And with six minutes, 20 left on the clock, a lot of back and forth action here, but uh, still anybody's round, as you said earlier. 
Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, very competitive thus far, and always love to see that. I mean, these two teams uh, coming in now. Like I said, haven't streamed them in a while, but well familiar with their players. No, and uh, as uh, Leo the Great <laughs> reminds me, uh, they get the disc, it reminds me to consider muting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, the Shepherd with a disc. No, not really. So, future reference. Not, not actually a huge, huge issue. It's just us casters who can't do that. Now, of course, if anyone gets silly, well, then it becomes an issue. But yeah, the players here contesting the disc at the back line. It's all in good fun as they, they go for a bounce shot, just missing, and Captain oh. Will uh, trying to get that disc back. But oh, slapping is contact. That was nice. Yep. And uh, I'm gonna pretend that I can see the game because my my LS may have bug splattered. But um, basically, <laughs> based on uh, what I've seen so far, both teams definitely showing a lot of uh, great credibility ac across the board. Like all the players in in this game that I've seen so far, definitely have uh, shown a great amount of uh, just awareness in general. Great passing coming across the board. Great regrabs, and uh, yeah, certainly our uh, two teams. Uh, worth uh taking something taking something home from this game both of both players both teams definitely have done something good this game all right well on that note you can uh i assume you're back in i hope that's you who just joined as we get yeah, a yeah, captain yeah, yeah. will <laughs> just captaining his own ship and ships it into the feet of the goalie and that's a two-point lead right back to creamy milk i mean it's still remaining neck and neck uh, both teams really just uh, within two points of each other all the way through so far yeah, and um, looking at Calculator's just advantage here, I'm wondering what they might do here because they like to play nice and safe and utilizing these passes. As we can see here, they're not going for any extremely aggressive plays right off the bat. They're trying to make some nice little passes here, and that's going to be a trench play, but that's going to be Creamy Milk finding that in the end and going for a clear through the midsection. And uh, yeah, as we can see here, Creamy Milk, um, what they like to do, they play, a re they play really aggressive when they have an opportunity with the Joust Advantage or anything in general, and that's going to be a shot that might take the round into their lead, but possibly take the round in general, 10 to 6 now, and that's going to be uh, the furthest, uh, the first, the greatest lead coming from Greatest, greatest Milk onto Calculated. Yeah, it could buy them some great uh, momentum now. I mean, really the first team, I think, to make a small run, a small scoring burst. Definitely be the one to take it away at, at this kind of pace. Of course, we'll see how Calculated uh, reacts now as they launch out and just uh, very bold, very brazen, still gets the pass uh, off that wall, eventually finding White Fox's hands as the defense retreats into the bubble. Uh, that said, maybe not far enough, but no, it's uh, Shepard putting that one on the shelf and dishing it back to the midfield where it's actually <laughs> taken now by Goran, who tries to find that reset. Good pass back there from Goran, and Brennan's going to find the disc here playing on to the roof there and that's going to be white fox making his way inside the bubble but it's going to get intercepted there by by creamy milk and and that's going to be Callan looking for the long shot nearly found its way inside the goal but the rebound's coming in oh but that's going to be brennan cell going to find the steal right back off him and he might go for a clear here wow <laughs> that was very close there yeah, brennan brennan doing some great work there on uh, that grab it looked like maybe a guarantee but nope of course Nothing's guaranteed at this level. Uh, players are so fast and so good at the reaction times that they're, uh, one goal could look like it's a guarantee, and then the next second, oh, there goes the defense, there goes the stacks. Right now, this one maybe could have been a guaranteed shot, but just a bit off on the read. That said, a good stun from Brennan trying to read the disc and uh, find out where it went for a second before a pass now goes to uh, Callan, working it around and waiting for the stun before the shot. Nice. Shepard really worked for that disc there. As you can see, he got punched, stolen from, but he was able to just quickly grab on and steal that disc right back and set up for Carlin. He was able to find those two points inside there. 12 to 6 now, and uh, Creamy Milk really utilizing this lead that they have onto Calculator, possibly taking away this first round. But with two minutes left, still anybody's round. Yeah, that's a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff going their way, though. That scoring run I talked about seemed to be a reality because there's a few shots in a row. Uh, calculated really needing to react here and react rather quickly with two minutes. I mean, it's not it's not danger zone yet, but it's approaching there, especially if they can't uh, get something going soon. And trying to make that happen now, it's Goran with that disc, and uh, we'll set it out to the cutting Brennan as he takes a deep pass and a fling right off the dome, of looks like, of Callan. Great defense there coming from Creamy Milk, and they're going to look for a counterplay here. Here comes Carlin clearing it through the right tunnel. The regrabs are going to come in here from Creamy Milk, and they might look for a play here, but it might be calculated finding it first, but it's going to bounce awkwardly there off Bowtie, and that might be... Oh, it's going to bounce right into the hands of Calculated yet again, but the uh, that's going to be an intercept coming there from Captain Will, who's going to set it up, and a potential pass play to the left here. 
uh, but the rebound is going to come in yet again, and that's going to be Captain Wheel again, passing it on Bowtie Shepard. Shepard to the left shoulder. Here comes Leo the, Leo the Great, making a great shot there, but it's going to be a bounce off the goalkeeper, Fontak, for an own goal. But uh, definitely was a great shot, a great play there from Creamy Mill. Yeah, and Fontak not happy about it. Uh, kind of just, just questioning his... Uh life decisions a little bit, staring at the disc, <laughs> shrug the shoulders. Eh. <laughs> it is what it is. Yep. So with one minute left, I mean, it might not uh, make too much of a difference in the context of this round. Let's see. Anyway, it's going to be Fontag rolling out, sending it to White Fox. White Fox just grazing that corner of that, that rim and then right off the backboard again. Uh, 38 seconds remaining, one more rebound and having a tough time wrangling this disc through all of the pileups. Yep. Shepard has definitely done a great job shepherding the goals uh, throughout this game, and definitely that that has certainly been that joke has been made before. But I had to say it because you have to say it. It's it's the guy's name anyway. Here comes Brennan Tell. I agree. Uh, Brennan Cecil. <laughs> Brennan. Um, yeah, as I, as we said earlier, I've, I've casted a few North American games, so it's it's really great to see new names for a change <laughs> because it's always the same the same old names that I know in, in no CE, and the regrab is going to come in there from Creamy Milk Shepherd. Showing that he's not just a goalkeeper, he's a striker. Here he comes, finding those two points inside the round, and that's going to close out this first round, going to Creamy Milk, 16 to 6. Fun fact, for a while, Creamy Milk, they used to be named just Milk. Changed their name some, and got Creamy Milk now. For a while there, they were considering when they added Shepard to the mix uh, late in the season. They were going to go with uh, Shepard's Milk. I, I, I said no. <laughs> I said no. None of that. No. <laughs> well, maybe the creamy might have helped them here. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean giving, giving a bit of cream to their gameplay. Yeah, yeah. They, their first round successful. Cream of the crop, in fact. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, 16 to 6 in that first round it was uh, as we go to the score screen there. And I think, you know, calculated again, they kept right up there. Those first uh, few minutes of play was neck and neck, as we said, just goal for goal. One uh, team scoring a couple points, the other team reacting. Uh, once that first run happened, that's where, like you said, the, the, the tug of war that is the momentum of Echo Arena, right? It just went a little bit in favor of Creamy Milk. Now, had a couple things gone differently uh, in the in the middle of that round, it could be different results. But, you know, now it's, uh, like I said, the tug of war, so it's time for Calculated in this round. And they pull back a little bit and see if they can get it going on their end to start off. Would be great to see. And also great to see in the chat here, Punitive saying, Hey, doing Pally and Pamwell. Well, I'm doing great. How are you doing, Pally? I'm doing wow. Pam. You're doing wow. Pam wow. Pam wow. <laughs> but nonetheless, well. we're maybe going to go to a round two if my my deck would cooperate with me, which it will just a little bit late. So rest assured, the game is going. I promise you, you didn't miss too much. There we go. A few seconds off the clock. And it's going to be uh, taken well, by no one, kind of scrambled in the midfield as mm -hmm. eventually collecting it will be Brennan. And similar to the first round, Creamy Milk were able to quickly grab that disc in the middle for a second there, but it's with a brief counterattack coming there from Calculated, exactly like the first round where we saw with the initial joust coming from both teams. But regardless, he's going to be Calculated coming in under the shield. A nice pass to the left shoulder. Here comes White Fox inside the bowl. Oh, a bit of an over under action wow. coming in there, but Shepard proving why he's the Shepard of the goals there. And he found that disc right off that player there. And uh, Creamy Milk, great defense coming there. But uh, another White Fox going for a backboard shot there. And Shepard yet again finding the, go the save there. No, well, great plays coming from Shepard. Clearly, Shep heard you because he is putting on a defensive clinic right now, even on the bit, a bit of a, sl a slideshow of a player. But that said, White Fox saying, oh, no, I'm going to give you a show. That's two points for Calculated. Showing you how persistency is key here, calculated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they made a, quite a lot of shots there on, tar on target there, but although Shepard was, yeah, was able to find a, a lot of the first few, they were able to come out with a fresh two points to start out this second round here. Uh, and regardless, Creamy Milk going to be looking for a counterplay here. A nice Ooh. pass to Shepard who sets it up <laughs> to the right. I, whoa, what is this? What is this? These are these two passes. I mean, the first one almost looked intentional, given that bounce. That said, with Cruel Intentions, that's going to be off the pole, nearly making that, and now oh, looking right. for the grabs in the back line as the stuns ring through, but unable to get anything going, and it's rebounded here by Shepard, and uh, now maybe a little slowdown after the chaos. 
A lot of close shots coming in from both teams here. I saw a lot of long shots coming in from around midway section, but right before midway section. And uh, it's great to see a lot of suspense. And, uh, oh, and speaking of long shots, that nearly found its way inside the goal, but the regrabs came in from calculated and they would be able to, they were able to defend that one and clear it right through the left tunnel here. And they might potentially look for a play here, but it's going to be Creamy Milk finding it first. No, it's going to be, have a bit of an awkward bounce and Brennan's going to find it first, setting up, uh, well, oh, oh, setting up towards the left. But speaking of regrabs, Creamy Milk were able to quickly go in there and steal that disc right from him and now the regrabs coming in and shepherd shepherd at all-star look at him go defending attacking regrabs coming in not taking anything away from the rest of creamy milk because there's they're definitely setting up a lot of these yeah. goals but shepherd definitely sh giving himself a name here yeah exactly it was captain will i think with that grab on the, on the other end that time and but throughout the whole course it, it really getting their offense based on the defense you know turning one into the other a little bit of alchemy but that's how that's how it works right if you get a big defensive stop you want to be able to get those fast break plays you want to be able to get the clear the boost you take the defense off guard and just punish them a double time basically and you know creamy milk doing just that but uh, white fox here and calculated looking to react much like the first round with a rebuttal but no being stunned right in the bubble and in the side wall some more stuns as uh, Leo gets that disc, gets the clear, and finds a boost. I love these close passes that they make within the bubble because it's just, it's so risky, but if it works, it pays off. And it's just great to see uh, in contrast to a lot of the OC games I see here. And Leo the Grace is going to be able to place that one right inside the shield there because he was able to find that uh, bounce right off calculated and, yep, find those two points and a 4 to 2 now. In Creamy Milk calculated, certainly looking for a response here with 6 minutes 20 on the clock. Yeah, very, very nice persistence uh, there and getting uh, some more points on the board. Calculated, though, they're going to launch out on offense. Four minutes expired in the second round and looking to force a third uh, if they can take it away here, but can't take anything away from Creamy Milk and that speed they're showing. So fast and furious, and that is uh, right now uh, Creamy Milk. They're, they're feeling in a good rhythm and Calculated needs to put a stop to it rather soon. Don't let them go on another one of those scoring runs. Yep, and Shepard was able to intercept that clear coming from Calculator, and they might be able to just punish that. And a slop coming there from Cullen certainly will. 6-2 to two here, four-point leading. Creamy Milk to Calculated. All right, so now it's after a few in a row there, it's uh, right back to Calculated on the Joust advantage, seeing if they can you know, work in some more of that, like you said earlier, they're just the Calculated offense and be true to the name, the new name here, you know, formerly mm. Nitro, but... Uh, they are a fast team. They are trying to be a calculated team. They are running uh -huh. with Brennan as a sub on the team, but of course, a longtime 2017 veteran, uh, very well capable of stepping in and uh, providing some good numbers in any occasion. And they're going to slow down here, look for their passing angles. I love those dodges coming in from Brennan. He's done that quite a few times this game. It's always great to see. And a nice pass there up to Gor Goran Jr. He's playing outside the bubble here. Might go for an anchor shot outside the bubble or a setup potentially under the goal. And that's exactly what he does. White Fox going to find that inside shot for two points potentially uh, bringing back this game for Calculated, but it's not over yet because Creamy Milk do have that two-point lead and a Joust advantage here. They might look for a play. Yeah, that was fantastic. Right into the foxhole for White Fox, and that was a fantastic series of plays. We've seen, I think they opened the, the match. Uh, one of their first one or two goals in round one was kind of similar on an assist and just a beautiful finish. White Fox uh, getting it done there off of some great pass work, though, and Captain Will, speaking of the passes, they get it right past the defender. Uh, up to the backboard and into the goal. Good pass through from Captain Will. Uh, definitely timed that pass in order to avoid uh, calculated intercepting that. And if he wills it, there's a ways that he found the pass <laughs> and they found the two points inside the bubble and a four point lead coming to Creamy Milk now. Yeah, I got a. Uh, I like your, that you're taking charge of these puns here. This is, this is good. This is good news. <laughs> Over here, though, Brennan Cecil. Uh, trying to find some good news for them and get some more scores on the board. But no, uh, there will be a score that is to the head off of that stun. And now it's just going to result in a oh. beautiful long shot right at the bottom corner, throwing that ever so softly, uh, flying into the uh, goal at 15 a second, meters a second. Really nice job there. Uh, they're up 11 to 4 now. Yep, and that's one of the first uh, long shots coming from at least 25 meters above that we're going to see th within this game. And uh, so that's uh, extremely satisfying to see, especially if you're rooting for Creamy Milk here and calculated. 
uh, do not like the set, the look of that, so they're going to be looking for a response here. A, a pass that didn't just quite make it, it was barely out of reach there, and calculated looking for a steal here on Creamy Milk, but they aren't able to find it in time, but the clear going to get intercepted by Brennan here, they might look for a play here, Brennan's got someone on him, but he's going to find a pass to the left, but oh. Shepard is there yet again, Shepard, please have mercy, they want to find a few points this game. Shepard, easy as pie, uh, just... <laughs> delighting the audience now and, and the casters alike with his fantastic defense. It's, uh, you said, an enjoyable part for you here, getting to see some new names as well in these American streams and rosters. Well, you know the name of Shepard now. Shepard is going off, <laughs> popping off right now. It's a Callan just missing the catch, but they're still going to get a rebound. Mm. Great awareness coming there from uh, Creamy Milky. Uh, they've shown a lot of great passes throughout this game and uh that's potentially setting them up for a lot of shots and taking talking about long shots here that that i'm pretty sure that was around like 50 meters there i'm not sure what i just saw they bounced off the top of the ring there off the backboard nearly found its way in that would have helped calculate it a lot in this in this second round but uh unfortunately, oh, 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 no. no are you serious <laughs> no way are you serious right now creamy milk Finding these miraculous long shots coming in from 31 meters now. Colored. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that uh, that makes, I think, the second time I've ever seen that happen. I have seen it once before. Uh, all right. Well, nice shot. And you know, when it rains, it pours sometimes. It's uncanny, right? If one team is feeling in a good rhythm, it seems like everything, even those weird ones, they'll just go in sometimes. And that's... Yeah, yeah. Call it lady luck, call it, uh, you know, swing of the game. That's just, I don't know. But it happens so much. You see these ridiculous shots. Oh, Callan is white hot. Back-to-back -back shots here coming from Creamy Milk. Out of nowhere, someone turned on the switch. I'm not sure who did it. I'm going to go and find out. But Creamy Milk certainly taking the lead within this second round. Uh, from a very close round within the first uh, the first few minutes of both rounds, it's turned into Creamy Milk's uh, lead within the later half of these rounds, as you can see. Uh, with one minute 15 left on the clock, it's certainly looking like a Creamy Milk game here today. Yep, it definitely is. The sky is cloudy with a chance of milk and Creamy Milk looking smooth as silk <laughs> right there, going for the back pass and one minute left. Maybe they'll milk some clock or maybe they'll just drop some more goals. I don't know. Don't call them a milk dud though because they are just popping off right now and locking in this two round sweep uh, impressively off of some crazy offense here in the later halves of this round. Oh my god, Leo the Great with a great shot there coming from 24 meters out. And with a combination of a great defense and a great uh, miraculous offense, I actually, I don't, I don't want to take any credit away from you because they have made a, quite a few of these long shots in. And I'm just going to say that the only miraculous shot that we saw in this later round was that one that bounced off the shield. I'm not, uh, I, I don't know about that shot. I've never seen that in my life. But um, as Palador said, he's only seen about two in his in his in his uh, casting career. But regardless, calculated looking for a response here. Dinged off the bottom of the post here, and here comes Cullen here, possibly looking for the final clear of the game with 15 seconds left on the clock. 20 to four, Creamy Milk going to be taking this game away. And with one final long shot, didn't quite find it. Hey, you're not that lucky, all right? Relax. Here comes Corin Junior with the clear off the bottom, and uh, that's going to end this game. 20 to four. Maybe it was just, I don't know, it was, it was a calculated shot earlier, who knows. Uh, but but yeah, the thing is, so that shot aside, you know, like like I said, call it a little bit of luck, a little bit of uh, skill, shooter's touch. That's the, that's the thing. Uh, it's it's uncanny. Now, that, that's only the second time I've seen that particular goal, but I've just, you notice a lot of the times when teams go on these scoring runs and they start feeling good, it just seems like all the weird bounces go against the other team, like everything just kind of... Uh, goes wrong then for the other team it's like even even the unlikely unplanned stuff starts working out we saw it in some of the matches earlier today as well and it's just kind of funny how that works out i don't know how to 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 qualify it it's it's kind of a you know it's like a like in any sport when players are in the zone you know what i'm talking about right it's just yeah you, you can't you can't write it down on paper and say this is what it means or this is how it is but you see it happen in sports and it's just uncanny but it's uh it makes for entertaining highlights if nothing else yeah, and I feel like Creamy, Creamy Milk essentially were able to utilize those awkward bounces into their favor. They were able to make those bounces work for them. They had a lot of aggressive regrabs coming in that we saw. And I feel like it's just their constant aggression and their great defense from Shepard as well. I just want to quickly bring that one back up. Mm -hmm. It's just that's things like that is just going to be able to uh, making those awkward bounces work for them essentially is just going to make them find these points.
and they're just going to keep piling up until they find the round winning. And uh, that's what we've seen here. Two to zero lead. Uh, creamy Milk to calculated. Yeah, and, and much much needed win as well. Much needed win coming in from Creamy Milk here. With, uh, you know, they had dropped, uh, let's see, it looks like, well, uh, four of their last five, that, that was following a three-game win streak. So kind of ups and downs, but the thing is, you know, that's going to happen in games. Uh, but how you finish a season, uh, talked about earlier too in other streams, it's, it's very important, you know, to a team and the mentality and the, uh, the emotions you kind of feel going into off-seasons and, and going into, or, or even playoff and postseason situations. But if you finish a season strong and, you know, there's not a huge gap between between the seasons or anything like that. I mean, you can you can definitely have that carryover effect going into the future. So for Creamy Milk there, breaking uh, a little bit of a slump, just a small one there, as uh, they did have, you know, tough matchups, you know, against Legends, Genesis, uh, Instinct, Redshift. I mean, you know, had some uh, had some tough ones for calculated side of things. Uh, they had one, they last two in a row before dropping this one, I and mean, they'll still have a very nice record in seven and six, so uh, despite the off game this time and just the fiery one from Milk, you know, still two uh, teams that, you know, overall in the season, top of the game and trying to, to finish strong. Yeah, I feel like calculated in this game, um, I feel like they did have a lot of great opportunities within the offensive side of Creamy Milk and they, they found a lot of uh, great players coming inside the bubble, but I feel like Creamy Milk would just be able to utilize their intercepts in those situations. So I feel like if there's anything that Calculated can take away from this game, based from my perspective, it's just the amount of speed that they have within the, bu the bubble, essentially. Like their passes, their shots, everything in general in that, in that sector, because I feel like a lot of... Uh, a lot of great plays. They did set up for a lot of plays here. We can see calculating quite a few of these highlights here. And um, yeah, there were a lot of uh, awkward situations within the bubble that we saw where they did have like, uh, they had like four players in the bubble and they, they were all ready, but I feel like the passes just weren't fast enough. They weren't able to utilize the passes to their advantage and Creamy Milk were able, able to find those intercepts and Shepard was able to pin those discs, those discs down mm -hmm. and uh, clear them out right out. And uh, I feel like, yeah, if we're going to take anything away from this game, that is certainly one thing. But uh, yeah, still a great game, nevertheless. Well, just yeah, to point that out, and Shepard uh, does stop by there in the Twitch chat. Uh, the Danimal, that is Shepard, just for, for your uh, information there. So yeah, <laughs> Shepard in there with the good games. But uh, that's kind of, a, a, to your point, even when they did get some good looks, right? They It, it was those stoppages in the goal. Uh, Shepard had uh, several of them uh, in there. I think uh, Captain Will, I, I believe, uh, had... Uh, one of them as well that was just like all all in the same several minutes span there when, when they started building up this steam uh, when that when that happens like you get the actual good execution you get some decent looking shots at, attempts and they're still stifled by the goalie uh, those can also kind of weigh down on a team's momentum and just make them feel you know more even more pressured and be thinking a lot more every time they start driving into the goal it's like well we're ha having a tough time getting it through, and even when we find some good shots, they're being saved. So it, it does kind of have a little bit of a snowball effect sometimes when you see those bursts of defense occur against a team. Mm. You know what else has a good snowball effect? The Twitch chat saying hey to the commentators and saying good game, good casting. They're coming from Punitive RPH. Uh, good casting, Pally and Pam. Well, I really appreciate those comments because a hey, snowball effect. Now I'm going to be happy for the rest of my day. So you've made my day. I hope, you, I hope, you, I hope you're happy about that. You made me happy. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you for that. And uh, yeah, always a pleasure to cast. Pleasure to uh, see these teams. Thanks for the compliments. Uh, could say it's a uh, it's 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 snow problem yeah? but <laughs> in any case uh been fun we're gonna head off here this was the final stream match here in the americas tonight we will have some oce games a little later on four hours ish from now uh, so do stay tuned pay attention to the match page and what have you but you'll likely see this uh duo pam wow and i again fairly soon in the future so until then, I want to thank our mods, though, as always, Wit, Nada, Gilligan, Princess, Alakos, Sneaky Evil, uh, who, again, shout out to him, played his last game of the season today because of college and stuff, which I guess is the responsible thing. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, shout out to him and Echo Zero and Daniel McFabulous, again, our great mods, our sponsors in ProTube VR, VR Cover, Rebuff Reality, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net. And, well... It's been fun. So I've been Paldor. That's been Pam Wow. This is BRML Season 2, Week 8. Uh, be happy, healthy, safe, and good to each other, everyone. And we'll see you again very soon. See you later, mates.